CMP, Flea Beldo, thank you for being here with us today, and thank you all for being here too. We're here today to have a conversation. We're here to talk about ourselves and our health, but not just our physical health, our psychological health. Now, a lot of us go through challenges and stresses through life that can be difficult to, uh, to uh, talk about, but we're here today to talk about a very serious topic, and that is suicide. Now, CMP, um, it seems like sailors are more prone to talk about physical problems, physical injuries, than they are to talk about stress and suicide, which can be kind of difficult to uh, talk about, kind of weird at times. So why is it important that we're here today addressing this topic? Well, thanks, MC2. It is an important topic. And, uh, you know, after 30 months in the job together, Philippe Beldo and I seem like we've traveled uh, to every possible location uh, around the globe where sailors are. And we feel like we know every one of them uh, today, both active and reserve. And so every time a report comes across our desk that uh, talks about a sailor who took their own life, it breaks our heart. So uh, we really need to talk about this as a leadership team. We need to talk about it as members of our own teams uh, in the fleet. So, um, you know, there is no right time to talk about it. We got to talk about it all the time, every day, every sailor, all the time. Right, that, that makes perfect sense there. So, um, fleet, what do you suggest to help sailors understand that no one is immune to uh, stress and um, everyone is at risk for psychological harm in their lives? Um, MC2, this suicide is very complex. And um, as you stated, nobody is immune to stress. And um, understanding that every sailor has their own way of dealing with stress. And sometimes that sailor has a hard time with reaching out and asking for um, help. And um, I, am, I will be the first to admit, I don't understand it all. But what I will assure sailors out there, if they ask for help, we will, or when they ask for help, we will be the first ones to help them. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, talking, talking about our challenges, whether it's operational challenges, maintenance challenges, mm -hmm. uh, social challenges, or psychological challenges like this one, uh, makes all of us better. Uh, we all recognize that. So we have to talk about this together as a team. And I think we all know that the stronger the team, the more we look out for each other and the more we're going to recognize when things aren't going right for sailors mm -hmm. or something's out of the normal. And uh, those are the indicators that uh, hopefully people recognize and they step in. And I think, uh, you know, whether you step in and, and actually save a life or just uh, express an act of kindness, that's going to strengthen the team at the end of the day. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. So what are, CMP, what are some of the things that we should be looking at, listening for in our interactions with our sailors, our family members, our friends? Um, what, do you, what do you suggest that we look at, listen for? Because a lot of people don't can't read the signs. Yeah, I mean the signs, it's interesting every time we, we've learned of a suicide and uh, a death by suicide, we, we often go back and look at what, what indicators we might have missed along the way. And, and they're often very subtle and sometimes they're very direct. And, uh, and it's different for every person. Mm -hmm. Fleet talked about the complexity of this issue and it is very complex. There is no uh, magic formula that we can train sailors to uh, recognize and immediately be able to act. It's just a general sense of having good situational awareness of your environment, the, the, the teammates that are around you, and as some, if you're someone who is having a tough day, is seeing some of those challenges, those stressors at home, the stressors at work, you got to recognize your, your own weaknesses as well and, and not be afraid. Uh, to, to talk to others about it, and those, our teammates need to be willing to have those conversations. Right, right, absolutely. So f for the both of you, where else should we turn other than our, I mean, we, we have our leadership, we have our families. Is there anywhere else that you uh, think we should suggest that we turn in, in a time of need? Well, I think all of our um, sailors have gotten the um, information with regards to every sailor every day. There are chaplains out there that we can um, look to. Their fleet and family support um, centers have um, different programs. And turning to each other. You know, I might not have the right answer, but I can get you the information. Sometimes it's lonely. And um, our sail some of our sailors have demons, and they don't want to ask for help because they're embarrassed. But no matter what your pay grade is, no matter what your position, no matter how successful you are, that does not define the fact that you have stressors and that you can't ask for help. 
Absolutely. Yeah, the only thing I'd add there is uh, we've got a great medical community uh, as part of our Navy, and they're well trained in many aspects of psychological, mental health issues. So uh, again, uh, because they're wearing a uniform, it might it might uh, dissuade people from walking in the door. Uh, don't be afraid to do that. Seek out that help, and make sure that uh, those who see uh, patterns of behavior that might uh, cause you to think that a shipmate is is having a tough day. Uh, don't don't be afraid or reluctant to refer them to our medical professionals. It's a great team, and they they are part of the team when you look at the whole part of the Navy that's trying to tackle this issue. Sir. All right. Well, CMP Fleet, thank you for being here and answering the questions, and thank you all for watching. And I hope that you're able to take something away from this video and understand that there are resources like the one that's actually on the screen right now, the website and the phone number. Be sure to reach out to that if you feel that you need someone to reach out to in a time of need. And be sure, like Fleet said, to reach out to family members, to sailors, to friends, whatever you need to help get you the help that you deserve. And always remember, always remember that help is always available. Thank you for watching.